Today, let's take a look at how you can lock cells in Excel. So this is practical for when you wanna create a template that you need to send others to fill out and you wanna make sure that they only input in the right places and that they don't delete your formulas. Let me show you how that works. So I've started to work on this great investment calculation tool and I wanna send it out to the different departments, different people. I've put a great header here to fill in the blue fields only. But what do you think is gonna happen? Will people stick to that? Will they just fill in the blue fields? Or are they gonna go and maybe type in stuff in other places as well? Well, some people are probably gonna do that, right? And I want to avoid that. I wanna make sure they can't type in anywhere else, only in the blue fields. That's when protection comes into play. To get to protection, just go to the review tab and you can protect your sheet. You can give it a password to protect it. So guess what my password is here? When you click OK, you have to reconfirm your password and click on OK. Now everything is protected. So if I want to go in and type over this one and put a five, I can't. I get this error, but everything is protected. So even my blue fields are protected. I can't input anything in here. So I need to protect this, but leave the blue fields open. So let me go and unprotect this sheet. To unprotect, I'm going to put my password here. Now I'm unprotecting because I want to make changes to this, right? So as long as this sheet is protected, you can't do anything. You can't make any adjustments to it. First, you have to unprotect, make your adjustments, and then protect again. There are different ways you can protect separate ranges. You could use this feature here, which is allow edit ranges and define the ranges that you want people to edit. Or you can use the format cells option. This is the version I'm going to use because I find it to be quite flexible. So just right mouse click, go to format cells or use the shortcut key, control one. And the last tab here is called protection. By default, every cell has a check mark for locked. This really confused me at the beginning because I didn't know what it really meant and I didn't really understand what it said here. But basically this means that once you actually protect your sheet, any cell that has the check mark will be locked. So you can't input it. If you want that cell to be adjustable, to be changeable, you need to remove that check mark. So for example, let's just select more than one cell. I'm going to select this range here by holding down control and making the selection. And now I'm going to use the shortcut key control one. You can also right mouse click and go to format cells and take away that check mark and then click on OK. Now that I've made that adjustment, nothing is going to happen unless I protect the sheet. So now I'm going to go and protect the sheet again. This time I'm not going to give it a password. Let's just go with OK. So what happens here is if I go to the white cell here, type in a five, I can't because it's protected. If I go to here and I want to change this, I can because the cell isn't locked anymore. But this one right here, that's still protected. I didn't do it for this. I just selected these. So to do it for all the blue cells here, I can go and manually select them, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to let Excel select them using this method. Press Control F to get to the Find and Replace options. You usually come here when you're looking for text, but you can also look for formatting here. So let's go ahead and click on Format. I'm looking for this blue color. So I'm in the Fill options here, and that blue color is this one right here. Click on OK and Find All. This is going to find all of the cells that have that color. And to actually see that selection here, I'm going to press Control A to select everything. Now with everything selected, I actually want to go ahead and unselect this. So I'm just holding down Control and clicking on these cells to unselect them. We don't need this Find and Replace anymore. It's done its work. What I need to do is format these cells and remove that check mark for locked. Remember the shortcut key for that is control one. Let's jump to protection and for locked and we get that little dot in there. It means that it's a mix. Some cells have a check mark and some don't have a check mark. I want to make sure that all of them don't have a check mark. So just click, click, remove that check mark, click on OK. And now all of these cells are open after you protect this sheet. So I'm going to protect. Let's not give it a password. Now check this out. I can type in anywhere here. These are all unprotected, 
but if I want to go and change this formula and delete it, I can't. Everything else is protected. Now, in case you have a situation where you want to unprotect everything except for a few single cells, you can do it the other way around. So you could select everything here, press Control 1, remove that check mark so everything is unprotected, and then select those single cells that you want protected and put back the check mark for them. So that's how you can lock cells in Excel. If you've used this before, let me know what you think of it, because at the beginning, I found this whole locking experience quite confusing. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'm going to see you in the next video.